Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the HDS series of high-definition HDMI splitters. These products were designed to make it very simple to share a single HDMI source with up to eight monitors simultaneously at a full 4K ultra-high-definition resolution. The product line includes three different models, starting with the HDS-102, a two-monitor solution, the HDS-104, a four-monitor solution, and the HDS-108 that will support a complement of eight monitors simultaneously at full resolution with a single product. As part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything included with the kit. Then I'll take a closer look at each of the models individually and explain the connectors, buttons, and indicators so you understand what they do. I'll give you a list of the wide variety of audio and video standards these products can support. And then finally, I'll come back and actually do a demonstration with the HDS-104 here on the table to show you just how simple it is to use. So let's get started with the unboxing. All three models include basically the same accessories. You'll get the splitter, you get a complementary power supply that's matched with that splitter to provide all the power you'll need, and you get an instruction manual. Now, the manual includes a lot of really good information on how to connect the device up, the type of audio and video standards it supports, and exactly what settings these EDID switches on the front will allow you to accommodate. We've built this product to support a wide variety of HDMI standards, both from the source material as well as the monitors, and the ability to adjust as needed with those EDID switches really opens up a lot of possibilities to make sure that it's as compatible as possible with the widest variety of products. So that's pretty much all you get inside the box. It's a very simple product to use, and if you stay tuned now, we'll take a closer look and I'll explain exactly what all the connections are used for. Now we'll take a closer look at all three of the HDMI splitters, and I'll start with the HDS-102. This product enables you to share a single HDMI media source with up to two monitors simultaneously. All three of the splitters feature a full metal enclosure, including the faceplate, which helps to eliminate outside interference and makes them extremely durable. On the front of the HDS-102, you'll find an HDMI input port. This gets connected to the media source, and once you make that connection and power up the unit, it goes through a brief power on self-test, and once that connection is verified, this LED will come on. To the left of that is the power port. You can use the included power supply, plug this end into the wall. The other end gets plugged into that port, and that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. To the left of the power port is the EDID switch. This is used for synchronizing the input with your output monitors. Normally it's left in this position, but if you're having trouble synchronizing your input and your output, you can flip it to the right and that may correct the problem for you. The included instruction manual has further details on how that switch is used. On the rear of the unit, you'll find two output ports that connect to your monitors, monitor one and monitor two. Again, when you make the HDMI connection to the monitor, the unit will verify that connection, and once it's verified the connection, it'll illuminate these two LEDs to let you know you're ready to go. And that's pretty much all there is to the HDS-102. The HDS-104 is a slightly larger version that supports up to four monitors sharing the same HDMI input source. On the left-hand side of the front panel, you'll find a power button. You can use this to turn the unit on and off. To the right of that is an update port. This is used for pushing new firmware to the unit if needed for later updates. Then there are a series of indicator LEDs across the front. The first one lets you know you have valid power to the unit. The next one lets you know that you have a good connection to your input source. These four indicate a good connection to the output monitors. On the far right hand side is the EDID switch bank. Each of these switches relate to individual output monitors, and you can make adjustments as necessary to sync the input source with your output monitors in case you're using different versions of monitors. And again, this is all explained in the manual. On the back of the unit, you have your five volt input port. Next to that is your HDMI input port. This connects to your media source, and then your individual monitors connect here through HDMI cables. And that's all there is to the HDS-104. The HDS-108 is the largest HDMI splitter in the series and is perfect for commercial installations because it allows you to share a single HDMI input source with up to eight monitors simultaneously. The unit is built with the same durable construction and metal enclosure. It provides mounting slots on the top and the bottom for wall mounting. On the front of the unit, you'll see an HDMI input port that connects to your media source. Once you make that connection and power up the unit, it'll go through a power on self-test, verify that connection, and then light this LED when it's satisfied. Above that are eight monitor connections that are HDMI ports as well. Individually, you'll connect these to the monitors. Once those connections are made, the unit tests that connection and lights the LED when it finds a valid connection. On the bottom of the unit, on the left is the power supply connection. You can use the included power supply, plug it into the wall, plug it into the unit, and that's all the power the unit needs. To the right of that is the update port. 
Again, this is used for pushing firmware to the unit if needed later on. And to the right of that is a rotary EDID switch, which allows you to adjust to synchronize your output with your input, and that's fully explained in the manual. The full line of HDS HDMI splitters support a wide range of video formats, including high-end standards like 4K and 2K video, up to a full Ultra HD resolution of 3840 by 2160, including support for both 30 and 36-bit deep color. These solutions are HDCP 1.2 compliant and support HDMI output of 1.4 volts. The audio support is expansive as well and includes DTS 7.1, Dolby AC3, Dolby True HD, DTS HD Master Audio, as well as LPCM. These HDMI splitters can support most modern media sources, including Blu-ray players, game consoles, streaming devices, home surveillance systems, and cable boxes. Now I'll show you how simple it is to set up the HDS-104 high-definition HDMI four-port splitter with your own gear at home. For this demonstration, I've set up four monitors on either side of me, and I've got a media player here as my HDMI media source. The first thing I want to do is apply power to the splitter. I've already plugged in the power supply, so all I have to do is slide this barrel plug into the power port on the back of the splitter. The next connection I'll make is my media source. That gets connected to HDMI input. I'll turn the unit around and turn it on. You'll notice immediately there are two LEDs lit up. The first one indicates that I have good power to the unit, and the second one tells me that I have a valid HDMI source connected to the splitter. Now I'm ready to connect the monitors. So I'll connect the bottom monitor on this side to the HDMI output port number one, and I'll connect the top monitor to HDMI output port number two. Then I'll connect the bottom monitor on this side to HDMI output port number three. And then finally, I'll connect the top monitor over here to HDMI output port number four. Now you'll notice once I connect these, it takes a couple seconds for the monitors actually to display the media. And the reason for that is the splitter is actually analyzing the media source and comparing it to the resolutions the monitors can display, and it's making whatever adjustments are necessary to give you the best possible picture. Because remember, you can mix and match different brands, different sizes, and different resolutions of monitors, and they'll all work fine with this four-port splitter. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just really easy to hook up, and it's an incredibly reliable product. I hope this overview was helpful in showing you how the HDS series of high-definition HDMI splitters makes it very easy to share any media source with two, four, or eight monitors simultaneously with a few simple connections. If you have any questions about these products, please check the FAQ on our website or use the Contact Us link to send us a note and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Until next time, thanks for watching.